Well, yes, I think that the, the evidence that we have, the earliest, by common consent, the earliest Christian texts that we have are uh, the letters of Paul. Uh, the undisputed letters of Paul take us back to within about uh, 20 years or so, 20 to 25 years after the, uh, after the death of Jesus. That is somewhere between 50 to 60 AD. And already in these letters, um, the, Paul presupposes that he and his readers in a, in a variety of locations uh, appeal to Jesus in worship, uh, sing hymns to him, um, invoke him to constitute their sessions, uh, offer prayer jointly to God and to him and to God in Jesus' name, and in a whole variety of ways treat him as a recipient of their devotion, uh, like, like the devotion that they offer to God. Um, so he has been in sort of, as I've said, enfranchised or incorporated within their devotional practice in quite a, an astonishing sort of way. The point is, as you say, uh, Paul presupposes that this is relatively uncontroversial among all the different churches that he, that he writes to. So however and whenever this arose, it had to have come into being and become ubiquitous, it seems, or rather widely spread in early Christian circles easily within the first 10 to 20 years after Jesus' uh, execution.